We know Eric Kahn was caught in Honduras, but how he got there or where else he's been for the past six months is still a bit of a mystery. Today, he faced a U.S. judge for the first time since he was captured. His lawyer got the chance to talk to him before that and ask some of the questions many have been wondering. LEX 18's Carolina Buchek has details. The manhunt is over. Federal agents returned Eric Kahn to Kentucky yesterday, but his homecoming was not very warm in federal court today, where he faced charges for his alleged escape and the possibility of a lot more prison time. And yeah, he's going to be looking at, at, at life. Kahn's lawyer says he suspects the U.S. will bring back all the charges it previously dropped in exchange for a plea deal. That means Kahn's original 12-year prison sentence could be extended to life. And then there's also the new escape charges against Khan. He pled not guilty to them in court today, and his lawyers say the escape is alleged. But outside of court, they told us about foreign money and Khan's box of possessions. On the record, I am told that there is $20. In Honduran cash. The lawyers say they don't yet know where Khan spent the last six months, but they asked him how he ended up in Honduras, where he was later captured. He just laughed and said, well, there's a story behind that, and I said, I'm sure there is. And while so many questions circle around Khan's whereabouts, apparently he had questions of his own. He had tons of questions, as you can imagine, about where is he going to go in the interim? Uh, have I talked to his mother? Covering the news in Lexington, Carolina Buchuk, LEX 18 News. The lawyer representing Khan's former clients was also in court today. He says he's looking into whether Khan has the money to repay his clients.